我总是我的路，还是我的步。Good everyone. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe. This is Erden, and we are finally back with another Learn with Erden episode. Last time I was able to do a bot tutorial for TSB, which is, in my opinion, still one of the best Nike sneaker bots that's in the market currently. But there is a new and upcoming bot that I feel is actually doing really well in terms of sneaker botting at this moment for Nike sneakers. And I am hoping to introduce this to you guys, and I've gotten some decent success on it. I was able to cop the Air Force One G Dragon Paranoise White, size 11, with this bot, as well as four of the Jordan 11 Jubilees, at the 25th anniversary ones, with U sneakers. And U sneakers is something that is a little different than TSB, but. The way it handles the entries for Nike sneakers makes me a firm believer that this will be a very, very nice upcoming Nike sneaker bot. If you have the chance to grab one for yourself and test it out, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So today, I want to use this time to introduce to you guys this bot,、uh, show you some functionalities of this particular bot, show you how to input your accounts, show you how to import proxies, how to run your tasks. Hopefully, you guys will have a chance to view this, and whenever they do have a restock, hopefully you guys will have a chance to get it. This is, in my opinion, one of the up and coming Nike sneaker bots that will help you cop even better on Nike sneakers. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So the very first thing when you start off the bot after you sign in and everything, you will be able to see this screen where they will say, "Welcome to U Sneakers," and need you to add your name and default country below. So in here, I'm just going to add Erden Kitchen, and for my country, I'll be selecting the United States and safe. And then you will get to the dashboard UI where you see the welcome message, the different successful entries you have, tasks you've launched, tasks that failed. Failed entries, any wins you may have, any losses you could have had, successful logins, failed logins, and as well as some statistic charts that are happening here. So this is a very nice, simple graphic for dashboard. It will have all the necessary information you need for you to tally any wins or losses you may have. So let's get to the next page. This is the calendars, and the calendars is usually loaded for different regions that you want it. So right now, currently it's saying Austria. So let's change it to United States for us real quick, and then hit the refresh button. It will show you all the upcoming drops that are happening for U.S. regions on Nike sneakers. And on the 19th, we'll have the Sean Cliver, I believe, holiday special dunk that's dropping. And let's see, there's also the Jordan 13s. There's the Sakai that's dropping on the 21st. And this is very similar to TSB, where you have the calendars will show you the different stock amounts that are currently loaded on the website at this moment. So I think overall this is a pretty slick design. You're able to see the SKU numbers for it, and then、um, yeah, I think this is a pretty sweet way to see for you to check which ones you wanted to go for, and a better reference for you as well in terms of the SKU number that you need for the particular shoe that you want. So now let's go to the next page, and this is the task page. And this one we'll get to in a bit. This one is pretty straightforward, but I wanted to show you guys some of the other important elements of Nike sneaker botting first. Okay, so here are all the Nike accounts. This is where you're entering your accounts, and you will be able to see if your accounts are validated or not. All right. So the way you're adding your accounts, we're gonna click add sneaker accounts, and the format itself is email. Dash password.、And、the way I do it, I just copy this format into a text file, and then I can type in. Anything I needed, so Erdens Kitchen at Yahoo.com. All right, and then password I can say one two three four five six seven eight. All right, so I can copy this and paste it into this, and then the next step you will see that you see the account is loaded with the email and password. So you see that if you enter the email and password format correctly, and the next step you can do is either check your Nike account or save without checking. Now I'm not an expert as to know when exactly or how often you should check your Nike accounts, but I do know you shouldn't check it too often. So if you just got your fresh accounts, my suggestion is don't test them because the more you test them, the more likely it will get flagged by Nike and potentially get clipped. 
So that's my two cents. But at the same time, if you do want to check your accounts, you can do so. And I'll show you how to do it as well. You just click on check accounts. And then the next step, which is very imperative for anyone who's doing checking Nike accounts, no matter where you are doing it, you have to import your proxies. You should not test your accounts, multiple accounts on the same IP address. So that will be a sure way for your accounts to get flagged and clipped. So in here, all you need to do is import your proxies from your proxy providers, and then you can click on check, start checking accounts, and it will test whether or not the account is valid for you in order for you to go into Nike sneaker drawings. That's all it is. So let's just go ahead and say save without checking. But once we click on save without checking, we have our account saved in our bots. The next tab we're going to is the draw profiles. So in here, what this does is a little bit different than the Nike sneaker bots that we've known before, namely TSB or BNB. So there are two different ways where you can handle the profiles with your Nike accounts. Normally with TSB, it might be random or it might be going down the same orders as your listings of the accounts and profiles. But with you sneakers, what it does is trying to mimic human activities. So what that means is it's trying to make sure that the Nike account you're using has a consistent profile information throughout the time you're using that same account. So that means that you have to enter your profile information and link it to the account before you started your tasks. So that way it will be a lot similar to say you have your app with you and you have your profile already entered into your app. And then all you need to do is click on the size you need it and select submit when the entry is coming up. So in order for us to do that, we have to go into the next tab where we're entering profile information. So in here we see the Nike fillers. So this is an automated process where it can help you enter the account information with the profile information that you generated. So in here, you see that I already have a test profile in here and all it has is your name, your address, your city, country, zip code, the profile name, the phone number, your card information. If you have a profile score of 100, that means that your information is absolutely great. It will be highly unlikely for you to get flagged or highly unlikely for you to get canceled. But however, it is not 100%. So we have all these information in here. Let's go ahead and save edit a profile. And then now let's go back and go to the draw profiles. So in here we have the accounts already entered. Now we just need to add the profile to the account. So in here you can see that we can link this to the profile that we have, select the preferable size for this account. Let's say we pick seven. And then in here you can also assign a proxy. And this is for the profile proxy. So if you wanted to have that in here and use that proxy consistently, you can do so as well. So, but for us, for the purpose of our testing, we're just not gonna have a proxy here. And let's go ahead and click link profile. So now we have the CVV, the three digits on the back of your credit card already linked to it and the preferred size for this account. So you are good to go. I'm gonna unlink this first and I will show you a different way that you can do so as well. But this way it requires a little more manual procedures. So when you click on this, you see that we have the option of a CVV input where it says Nike accounts has details already. So what that means is that most people who use this option is they already have the account set up and they go into Chrome using a proxy switch extension, put in a different proxy than their local home address, and then they sign in using their Nike account information and then input manually the profile information they needed in the account, including payment information. And all you need to do is just add in the CVV information and then you can link your profile and it will be the same way. So that's just two different ways you can link your profiles to your Nike accounts. So if you're too lazy to create those manual profiles with proxy switchers on your Chrome extensions, then you sneaker also has a way for you to actually do that automatically via their create filler task and start filler task. So all you need to do is go stay in this Nike filler tab go on to create filler tasks. And then in here, you select the Nike account and you select the respective profile that you wanted to fill into that account and then put in the proxies that you wanted to use for that. And let's say we use local IP, create filler task. So now you see the added filler task successfully. Close this out and we have this already in queue for it. All you need to do is start the task and it will create the profile information into this Nike account and you're good to go. There are also some other functionalities with this in particular tab that you can use 
I haven't used it personally, but just some things to, think, to keep in mind for you guys as well. You can bulk add your profiles. You can also import your profiles via AYCD. And yeah, these are some processes that will make your Nike account creation and profile creation process a lot easier as well. Now, with all that being said, one of the key things we need to mention is proxies. And that's where we go to this little tab called proxies. And in here, just like any other bots you ever used, this is the tab where you input a proxy list that you have purchased from your providers. All you do is click add proxies and you can add it. And this is the proxy format that you have. And then once you're in there, you will have the proxy. So let's see, we do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So once you have that in here, you will see that step two is saying that the proxy is loaded and then you can either check your proxy or save without checking. Similar to the accounts that you're importing, we showed you earlier. So this is a process you can use. You can add a proxy list to it if you want. And let's just save without checking for now. So now we have one proxy list in here with one proxy and that's it. Next, we need to go into task creations and running a task. So let's we'll see, go here. We have the task creation tab now. And in here, there are quite a few different things that you need to be mindful of, right? Number one, the countries, this will automatically show you the default country that you started off with, that you selected when you first got the bot. And then in here, you will see all the products that are dropping. Most of the drops that are on sneaker will be shown here. Some of them, if you have not seen in here, you can create a custom URL, but the one we want it should be in here. This is the one that we want it. The Nike SB Dunk Low holiday special, Sean Cliver. This is the one we wanted. And then you can select the profile that you want it. This is the profile that we have. And if you have multiple profiles, you can use, use already profiles and you will just have that here. And in here, in the sides, you can have profile size. So if you select use profile size, then this is the size that they will use that you have had set on your profile in Nike account. So we're going to use that here. And the main reason people use these options similar to the one here where you can use the profile proxy is it keeps it on a consistent basis. Like I said, this bot's main purpose is to have a, as much as it could be resembling a human like activities on Nike sneaker entries. So if you have the same size, you have the same proxies, then it's mimicking someone who more normally a manual user would be having the, in under the same environment, right? They will select the same size for themselves and then they'll be using the same cell phone under the same Wi-Fi majority of the time. So that's why it will be easier if you use this option to keep your account safe and give you a higher chance of getting a win as well. And here, delays, I usually don't change anything. I just keep it at default delays. Typing speed, similar, I just use the default. I don't think there's any advantages or disadvantages in setting this outside of the default options, but just my personal opinion. Uh, number of retries, again, I just left it at default. Loading image, this is just yes. T entry types, usually it's recommended to preload. And then lastly here, you can see that the schedule login start, date, hours, minutes, and seconds are automatically set for the day that it's dropping, which is December 19th, and it will be dropping at 10 a.m., right? So here you can set, you can start the task with logins at 9.45, and then at the entry start time, it will be set. You can actually change this to 10 o'clock or a few seconds after 10 o'clock. A few seconds after 10 o'clock, again, is mimicking a real human-like activity, right? Normally, people can't just enter manually as fast as possible at the 10 a.m. mark. So with a few seconds delay set in there, it will give Nike a little more time to think, oh, this may be a real entry. So with all that being said, you just click Create Task, and that's it. And in here, you see that the proxy, we have an error here is because we don't have a profile proxy on the profile that we have set. So that's why you need to select the proxy here. And accounts, so you will see your accounts that you have here. You see the personal sizes that you have for your preference on the account. And then the mode is preload, the card that you have, and then the CVV you have as well. So one of the cool things about this bot is that you don't need to worry about generating cookies. It's just kind of an automated browser Nike sneaker entry process. It's just more of a imagining having multiple browsers open, entering your Nike sneaker entries on each of the browsers. It's that, except it's an automated process with this bot. And I think this gives you a higher chance of getting selected with Nike sneaker entries. Just my personal opinion, because it's 
as real as it gets when it comes to human-like activities. And hopefully, during my later on live call videos, you guys will see how exactly it works during the some of the drops that will run with you sneakers. So that's how it is. I just want to say this is really a pretty neat UI setup, and also it's really, I think it's pretty cool. The way they're set up, the way they're mimicking human-like activities, I think it's actually one of the pretty neat Nike sneaker bots on the market at this moment. It's got around, I think, 400 users, somewhat around that range at this moment. So not a whole lot of people are using this bot. So for me, I just really wanted to get a better chance of winning some Nike sneaker drawings. And with this bot, I was able to cop this. Like... I can't even think or imagine I was able to cop this and I was able to got it on this bot. So I think I have some decent faith in this bot. Obviously, there's still a lot of kinks to be worked out with this bot. I still have a lot of development to do by the developers, but they are definitely working hard at it. So if you guys do have a chance to get this bot, I highly recommend you taking this bot into consideration. Now, just some things to be aware of with Nike sneaker drawing bots, always be mindful that your accounts are never 100% safe. There's always a chance for you to purchase your accounts and then eventually get it clipped. So just something to be mindful of. And with proxies and everything, there still be a ton of money involved with Nike sneaker botting. So just to have that, keep that in mind and always remember that with, even with bots that you have, you are not guaranteed to cop every time, 100% of the time. I've been taking L's for a long time on Nike sneakers, and most recently, I'm still taking L's. I finally got a W on the Nike Ambush collaboration dunk with TSB, which I haven't had a W on TSB in God knows how long. And even with you sneakers, after I cop this, I only cop some of the Jordan 11 Jubilees. I haven't copped anything since. So, but, it's just a process you have to endure. So I think, again, this is my recommendation, right? Just definitely, if you enjoy TSB, if you enjoy Nike sneaker botting, TSB is still one of the top tier bots. And U Sneakers is, in my opinion, one of the most promising upcoming potential filled Nike sneaker bots. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys get a chance to do so, definitely check them out. I'll link their Twitter in the comment section below and you'll see in the picture here as well. And if you guys do have any questions, don't forget to leave in the comment section below. So that's all we have for you guys. If you guys do like this Learn With Erdin video, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you haven't not done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell first, all right? Thank you all so much. Enjoy your holidays. In the meantime, keep it cool, keep it real. This is Erdin. Peace out.